Good morning traders and this is your DAX daily review. So this week has been pretty pretty chaotic. We've got um, you know, so many things going on here and I think the, the lesson learned from this week is really focus on price action. So I will do a another video this weekend around the importance of price action. So we'll just strip this strategy down to the most important element of it which is price action at the end of the day. Okay, so you know if we had two days of indecision inside bar, inside bar, that there is a bearish pattern and you can see we've got the bearish move. Okay, but yeah, tune in uh, tomorrow and I will give you a rather in-depth video on that kind of stuff. Right now we have a break and a close below the previous swing low, so we have a new low. The ultimate low is obviously this one here and this one there's a gap. There are still two gaps to the downside here, more likely three if you count this one right at the bottom, but in the short term there are two gaps to the downside. This is looking like an inverse cup and handle or even a head and shoulders. There's shoulder, head, shoulder. Okay, oscillators all over the place, nothing really to read into there. Looking at price action, you know, uh, early in the week we had this chaos, you know, and if you didn't have your wits about you here, uh, you would have been in a bit of a bit of a pickle, um, getting a few stop losses hit. So what we're looking for at the moment is, um, again, this is sort of a, a lesson for you. You can see these moving averages are fairly flat, which indicates a range. So you're anticipating a range. So don't try and look for big moves. Look for the nearest area, and this is normally what you do. And you can see here. There are multiple levels here. There's a swing low, there's a Brooks gap there. Swing low was tagged, fell off, rallied up, Brooks gap tagged, moves to the downside. Okay, and all of this while the bigger time frames moving average are fairly flat. Now we have a moving average pointing down. Um, this could be the start of a big move, because that's normally what happens if you look to the left here. And they get wider and wider and then eventually roll. Okay, so at the moment we've got deviations, we've got, um, we've broken through a significant level being 200 moving averages, and we're picking up some buyers down here, we've got the oscillators starting to group. Are we at a, a, a level that we can pay attention to? Um, not really, okay, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. This could be a bigger double bottom that's forming, so this here is the one side of the bottom and this is the other side of the bottom. But that is not confirmed yet. Uh, no diversions, so there's nothing really standing out. We start drilling down to the hour and the half hour. This is consolidation. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of consolidation. Moving average is starting to round. We've had a crossover here and we're pointing to the upside. Okay, so looking at this, now you've got a gap to the upside and you've got gaps to the downside, but you also got quite a bit of support at this bottom level here, uh, 12, no not that one, sorry, uh, this one here, so at 11.863, okay, we've got some significant amount of support here, uh, we do have, I'm just going to put that level in there, there's another level there, you can see quite a bit of interaction at this level, so that is kind of what I would anticipate right now. If we do break through or continue, because this is sliding at the moment, so if we do continue sliding, I expect the buyers to come in off one of these two levels. Whether it's just going to be a retest of this breakout over here, which is pretty much 11.988, okay, or alternatively, a bigger move to come and test 12.050. That is something that we need to wait and see. But at this stage, this is starting to look like some consolidation. Consolidation means range. Range means it can break either way. Um, and if I had to give you a, a bias at the moment, uh, I would, because we've broken through this level, I would expect sort of a short-term bounce into this area here, which would form top of range, short from there, with anticipation of a breakdown. 
Okay, and only reason for that is because we had the solid move down consolidating. I'm looking for a second move to the downside. Okay, but obviously I want that short higher up. Okay, so pointless just jumping in short here, especially when your oscillators are grouped to the downside. And you know, if you look at this, you can see there's a, if you're using the Bill Williams theory, you'll see there's a wise man number one. We haven't broken through this level, so there may, there's still a lot of people that are in this trade anticipating with the upside. Um, if I just look at what's going on at the moment, so oil jumped up 1% after falling or crashing yesterday, which drove most of the markets down. And the DAX right now is 11,983. Okay, which is 11,988. So the DAX is kind of right now top of this range. So at this stage, it looks like we're going to get a gap up. And then I'm looking to see whether we're going to get a second move to the downside. So rule is pretty simple. I'm looking for a break of this high here. Okay. That gives me a target of... 86 points, which is, if you watch my gaps video, you'll see that that is the next level. So here's your first level, here's my next one, which is the opening bar of the gap. And coincidentally, it coincides with the 200 moving average. Okay, so that's kind of um, my view at the moment. So if we do break above let's just call it 12.05, so obviously that's going to get tested. So if we do break above that round number, then expect 12.050 and then 12.089 to be tagged. If price holds the 12,000 level, then I'd expect us to move back to the down bottom of the range, which would be 11.920. Okay, if we break below 11.920, then you're looking uh, at 11.863 and more to the downside. Okay, you can actually just go on the range height in actual fact, which will be 85 points. So around there. And... Pretty much the previous low here. Well, if that happens, bet your bottom dollar this gap will close at 11,800. Okay, so that's kind of uh, the view I've got. And if you look at the four hour, um, we've got the oscillators together quite nicely. But ideally, what you want to see is you want to see them come together underneath this uh, 20 line here. So they can come together underneath here and then start rounding uh, and we're at a level that's your signal you're looking for in the longer time frames but at this stage nothing there and uh, you can see even if we do break this range uh, our range just get my bearings here So if we do break this range to the upside, okay, which is these two here, um, find that fairly difficult to believe because we do have uh, 200 moving averages here as well. So looking at the four hour, I'd expect some kind of a rally up into this area and then I really would expect a second move down. Um, it's going to be tough getting through these bottom levels because there's so much support here. But that's still the trade that I'm looking for. Get the pullback, come back and test either the top of the range, even come up and test one of these two levels here. But then I'm short again, looking for the short. Okay. And stop above the swing high here. Okay. Here we go. That's it for me today. Um, and just word of warning, don't try and hold over the weekend. You have no idea what Trump's going to do this weekend. He may, um, he may throw another spanner in the works. 
So stay safe, stay on the low time frames, and uh, take your profit as often as possible. Anyway, that's it for me today. I hope it helps. Catch you later. Cheers for now.